The uh, Scamazon package is here today. Oh, I'm really excited about this one. Oh. Can't, I mean, it's gotta be something cool. It's in an extra big box, right? I mean, why, why would they waste all this cardboard for something not cool? Oh, baby. I can, what? It's like an empty, are you serious? You wanna talk about waste of packaging? I just don't get it. I don't, I don't get it. Why such a big box? We're talking about conserving the world here and everything. <sighs> that being said, probably stay straight out of China for this guy here. I don't remember what brand this was. Uh, the unfortunate part is I needed it. I had to have it because I need to put one back in my box. Actually, this is pretty decent. It's a high speed, high speed steel. If I remember, it's an M8 125. I needed it, had to have it. Oh, there it is. It says China. It says China. They got us beat. We sent all of our tooling over there. We sent everything over there. Everything but us. Anyways. Also, another object from China. We're going to be using this later this week so long as the weather holds out qc pass quality control in china or quick china this is hey look at actually you know what that's uh not too bad feels like feels like a quality chinese steel so, I have a sandblaster I'm going to be selling them very quickly. I think it's a 40 pound sandblaster or 20 pound sandblaster, I can't remember. Definitely not a bad unit for somebody that has the space to utilize it. However, And smell like burnt skin. I was down there getting a sunburn. Someone needs to send me some uh, tig fingers. I'm going to get some red garnet tomorrow after work. Which, if I recall, is the birthstone of those born in January and. and February I don't remember I have to look that one up but this is uh, hopefully going to make my milk jug mailbox a little bit more uh, bearable I'm also probably going to use this to strip the the paint off of the bottom of the boat the bottom paint because the uh, the previous owner did a really nice job painting it. Unfortunately, that was now 10 years ago. I can't even believe how long it's, how long ago it's been. I'm not sure why they give you two sets of uh, clamps, but I guess for me, I will do one there. Look at that, there's a crack. There's a crack in that one already anyways. Sweet.
I don't know that you definitely need two of these for this. I'm sure I'm going to figure out some ways to improve this. Uh, my imagination precedes my ability sometimes. So, from what I gather, even though there's no instructions in this box, you stuff this in your in your media, blasting media, and the pressure of the water coming through this way is enough to pull or pump the media out of the container and into this hose. <laughs> we'll find out. Uh, I'm skeptical. I mean, this looks like a shower hose uh, hooked to two pieces of steel, but somebody smarter than me figured it out. So uh, there's a lot of people like that out there in the world. There's no doubt about that. Um, that being said, I feel like It might have been nice to have a way to force air into either into this tube to pull to pull uh, more of the media into the line because it is a pretty big it's a pretty big nozzle. Uh, Would have been nice also if uh, this came with some different size nozzles maybe, but. Right now I'm just thinking about how my hand feels like it's got a nice sunburn on it from dicking around with that welder downstairs. And it's supposed to be pretty cold the next few days, so I think that I will probably not get lucky enough to run with this until Friday. In the meantime, I'll probably leave it right here where it doesn't belong. All right, happy Monday. Thanksgiving's right around the corner. Don't forget to send me stuff. <laughs>